Josh, got a question for you. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Honestly, can't answer that for you, but what I did see answered on Friday was what happens when an unstoppable offense meets another unstoppable offense. Now, after an interception by Brandon Leston, WKU and Brandon Dowdy found Leon Allen for 17 yards and a score. His only reception touchdown, but he'd have another one. We'll show you that just later. WKU scored 14 points in 35 seconds, and then another possession later. Brandon Dowdy, they're just so impatient. He only wanted to use one play, and his buddy, Taewon Taylor, obliged. 75 yards on that play, and he's going to scamper across the end zone right past the Marshall defender, push that lead out to 14. Another quarterback had a heck of a game. Rakeem Cato to Heilick Foster. This 14-yard score was his second touchdown of the game. He threw seven touchdowns on this game, his third coming right here on the next drive, opposite side of the field to Devontae Allen. 141 yards receiving and two scores before being ejected in the third quarter for two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. Lost in the show for this game, though, however, Leon Allen, 237 yards and this score on a pitch play to the right. Allen finished third in Conference USA in rushing. Hey, the Green guys had a back of their own. This is the only third score of the third quarter. Stuart Butler goes 20 of his 233 for his second touchdown of the game. Now, late in the fourth, down seven, Cato finds Eric Fronapple for a five-yarder that knots it at 59 at the end of regulation, and the uh, clock stopped and the game stopped. Except there's no ties in college football, Josh, so they just kept on playing. First play of overtime, 25 yards out, Rakeem Cato finds Heilick Foster again. Marcus Ward just can't pull him out of bounds. Herd go up on top, 66-59 in OT. And the Herd called, and Western answered. Dowdy moving that pocket one more time to Dangerfield. Back of the end zone, he had two. He only needed one foot down. That's selfish. Now the tops just need an extra point. Or David could just go ahead and take down Goliath. Dowdy to his right, to McNeil, tops win. 67-66, they will earn a little bit more than a 24-hour celebration period.